times you just can't believe what you're seeing. And this is one of those times. I thought I could no longer be shocked by the appalling behaviour of some of Britain's social workers, but this shocked me. It was reported recently that social workers in the West Yorkshire city of Bradford had turned a blind eye to the grooming, sexual abuse and rape of a 15-year-old girl in the city. Now, you might not be surprised by this because we know this has been happening for years all over the country. Grooming gangs catapulted into public consciousness in 2015 with the publication of the J Report. This report revealed that more than 1,400 girls in the South Yorkshire town of Rotherham had been groomed, raped and forced into prostitution over a 16-year period. We know now that this has happened in Oxford, Telford, Newcastle and elsewhere, and it's still happening as I speak. In all of these cases, these crimes carried on for years, and police and social workers stood by and watched. They did nothing to stop it. Why? Well, because of incompetence and laziness, yes, but also because the rapists are Muslims and the girls mostly white, and these Muslims think that white girls are trash. That's the reality. So we already know this. But in this latest case, not only did social workers do nothing to protect an underage girl from these gangs, they effectively handed her over to them. This girl, who has been given the name Anna, first reported being raped by these monsters at the age of 14. At 15, she was forced into an Islamic marriage to one of her abusers. But the shocking part? Her social worker attended the wedding. Then the girl was taken to the home of her so-called husband, kept in slave-like conditions, and the family were paid a fostering allowance by social services. So to be clear, this girl was married off to her rapist, just like in many Muslim countries, and social services took part in the wedding. Then they paid the Muslim family to keep this 15-year-old pregnant girl in surf-like conditions. We really have sunk so low as a nation. And for the record, it's illegal to have sex with someone under the age of 16. So even her pregnancy was the result of rape. But social services saw nothing wrong with this. Everyone involved in this absolute scandal should be immediately sacked without a pension and charged with a criminal offence for facilitating sex with a child. All grooming gang members should be jailed for at least 20 years and then deported. Even foreign men who are reasonably suspected of involvement in grooming gangs should be deported without appeal. Why are we risking the safety of British girls so that these men can live in the UK? Surely British girls should be the priority of the British government. It should be, but it isn't. Therefore, Britain is absolutely determined to put a stop to this. Our policies are very clear. Throw the rapists in jail. Allow no more immigration from countries where girls are viewed as trash worthy only of abuse and jail the police and social workers that allow this to happen. That's the only way we can stop it, and stop it we will. Join us. Thank you for watching. If you would like to stay updated with all of our latest videos, please like the video below and subscribe to our channel. As you probably know, For Britain is shadow banned on most social media. So it's really important to like and share our videos in order to get our message out. Thanks again for helping us to fight back. Thanks again for helping us to bring back Britain.